Welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to cover the advanced side of the fiscal year variant settings in our SAP. So we will take two special cases. One will be the special periods. So in our previous video, we have configured the normal posting period settings, the normal fiscal year settings. And uh, we have one option was there that is related to special periods. So now we will take that one. And also we will take shortened fiscal year variant. Now let's first take the special period concept. Now what exactly the special period? Till now, we understood that we are going to have some normal posting periods. For example, 12 posting periods we are going to take. One is assigned for each month, whether it is calendar or whether it is non-calendar. If it is calendar, then it is going to start from Jan and it is going to end with December. In case of non-calendar, we have to define just like previous one I have configured T1 that is going to start from April and it is going to end with March and a detailed parameters also we have configured. Along with that, SAP is also allowing maximum four extra periods so that in total we are going to have 16 posting periods. So why we need them? What is the need of these special periods? These special periods are not your normal posting periods or this normal day-to-day uh, -day operation point of view, normal business transaction point of view. It is not required or it is not used. I mean, it is not available for that also. So they are mainly used for audit adjustment point of view for your year end closing entries or for the consolidation posting. Let's take one example. Suppose your company following Jan to December. I'm taking here example Jan to December so that you can easily correlate the things, but you can also apply the same on non calendar also. Suppose our company following Jan to December as our fiscal year settings. So January is going to start with one February two like this. December will be our 12th posting period. Now we have completed our closing activities for a particular financial year. Let's say 2024 or 2025 completed. Now in, in the year 2026 or I mean uh, the next year. So auditors come into business and they, they are suggesting some year end adjustments. Some suggest uh, they are giving some suggestions for some adjusted entries that is re related to our last period means December. For 2025, all closing activities completed, December, I mean, 2025 financial year, all these things are done, all year-end adjustments completed, p and balance it, everything done. Now, during statutory audit, they found something and now they are suggesting that we have to do some adjustment entries related to 2025 December. We are in maybe January or in February 2026. Now, for this, what you, you will do, you will go back I mean, management should open the previous year, financial year. They, they have to open the December period or November period. And that will be reopening of a previous year. And they can post those transactions. But instead of, and this is against our law, opening a previous year or previous period, it is against our law. So obviously, the go ahead, we are not going to get. So instead of reopening a particular financial year or particular period, we can post those adjustment entries by using those special periods. So let's say we can use 13 or we can use 14 to post the adjust entries. So our regular operation point of view, 2026 current year is open. So let's say it is January 2026. So that means my current posting period one is open. That is for regular users point of view. Adjust point of view, we can use 13 or 14 posting period. That is for the adjustment point of view. Exclusively for year and adjustment point of view, we are going to use. In this way, our, Decem our December accounts is remain closed for normal operation point of view, means our current financial year 2026 is open. However, we are able to post the adjustment entries by using this special period. So this is a benefit to the business. So they can use this special periods or they can utilize this special periods for the year end adjustment purpose for the audit adjustment point of view exclusively. So where we are going to configure this posting period, special posting period, this special period posting periods we are going to configure in OB29 also when we are created our fiscal year variant. So last time when I have created the fiscal year variant, intentionally I skip that particular column. I just maintain the posting period that is 12 and uh, we need now I'm going to update our special periods in the same settings. So now I'm in this OB29 where we have configured this posting period variant. So we have configured two posting period variant T1 and T2. T2 I already assigned to our company code. So same I'm going to use there. So you can see here I've just maintained our 
a period here 12 now i need two additional periods so my requirement is two so i will maintain here two although maximum four we can define but i will take here let's say two so two special periods we are going to so how many posting period total we will have 14 12 normal operation and two additional period save it so in this way we are going to use the special periods once we'll start testing or once you'll we'll start using this company code productively point of view that time we are going to explore these various options now we are just doing the system configuration now let's move to the second advanced case that is our shortened fiscal year shortened fiscal year means when it is less than your normal periods so if your normal periods or normal financial year having 12 months or 12 posting periods and due to any reason if you have to use less than 12 so that automatically becomes your shortened fiscal year so when this happens when it this type of requirement will be there so during the company creation if a new company code we are going to start so when we are going to start our business it's not like we will wait that once the financial year is going to start that time only we will start the business so anytime in the year we can start the business so in that case we have to start with shortened fiscal year that means let's say uh, right now we are in the month of august for example let's say we are following jan to december reporting now in august we are going to incorporate our company now we are going to create a new company code in our sap system which is middle of the year so in that case we don't have 12 posting periods so we have only august to december so because of that now we are going to instead of 12 posting period we are going to have less posting periods so this 2025 automatically becomes your shortened fiscal year next year onwards again we are going to follow calendar or we are going to follow non-calendar but this year 2025 will be our short and fiscal year it is also applicable for our merger and acquisition so during merger or acquisition so when we have to align with our parent company related fiscal year of your parent company so in that case also this particular concept is applicable okay so in new company code in case of new company code incorporation this one is applicable and in case of merger also this one will be applicable for example let's say a company follows april to march fiscal year settings currently and it is acquired by another company so parent company is following jan to december current year is let's say 2028 so here technically we should come continue our operation from april to march because we are following april to march reporting whereas parent company is following jan to december so parent company is going to close their books of account in 2020 uh, 2018 december so to align with this parent company this company which is acquired by the parent company so this company is going to close their books of account so they have started from april parent company okay let's say company x they are using april to march current financial year is 2018 so suppose they are going to start their financial year from april 2028 and they are going to close their books of accounts in 2019 march 31st march 2019 now this company is acquired by abc limited so abc company abc limited is using calendar format jan to december reporting so this company is going to close their books of account december 2018 right now because of this the company x or the company code x has to close their books of account so this year it is not calendar this year it is not non-calendar this year is your short end so from 2019 onwards this company code is going to follow the calendar format because this is acquired by this company but for 2018 it will be short end now how it is going to work in sap system again the same transaction code we are going to use ob29 suppose this is one uh, short end fiscal variant configuration so this is not sap delivered i have configured always when you will go for short end fiscal year by default it will be year dependent so make sure that when you are going to define a short end fiscal variant it will be year dependent now let's say initially it was maintained as 12 to 12 2 like similarly how i have configured in my case so initially it was configured as 12 2 but now as it is acquired by another company so for this set uh, this current settings needs the adjustment so sort and fiscally variant first you have to make sure that it should be cal it should be year dependent initially it was not maintained as no way it is calendar because initially it was maintained with april to march so calendar settings was not activated but as now it is year dependent or certain so it will be year dependent so you have to activate year dependent here 
plus you have to go for the adjustment related to your sort and fiscal year so which year you want to do the adjustment so i want to do the adjustment related to 2025 so how many months you are going to continue so in this case we are going to continue or we have to close our books of account like we will we will normal case it is april to march so instead of 12 now we have to close our books of account april to december so that means nine months so number of posting periods in this case it will be applicable nine so in this way you are going to adjust so for 2025 automatically it becomes your sort and fiscal year then for 2026 we are going to change to non-calendar to calendar because right now it is defined as non-calendar so again it will be changed from non-calendar to calendar because we have to align with the parent company if if you are following the my previous example so in this video we understood what is this special periods sort and fiscal year always it will not applicable but 100 percent you will get one interview questions if fiscal year related questions will be there and uh, special periods are always applicable means every year's use of special periods will be there and that questions also will be there so when you are preparing for fiscal year settings or uh, make sure that you are good in the use of special periods or what is the concept of special period and what is the use of sort and fiscal year so in this video we understood what is the use of special periods and what is the sort and fiscal years once our company code will be productive that time we will use the real scenarios if you are watching this video and if you're finding something good so i will suggest uh, share these videos with your friends who are now preparing for uh, this sap because my plan is in this series i'm going to add uh, all the topics so that when you are going to prepare for the uh, analyst job or associate consultant job so for that profile whatever the topics required i'm going to add it so share with them maybe it is going to help them too see you in another topic